Hello, and welcome to the first installment of the video series, Knowing Your Green Date. My name is Chelsea Jarvis, and I'm with the Northern Australia Climate Program. I'm based at the University of Southern Queensland in Toowoomba. These videos are made in partnership with Capricornia Catchments and also with support from the Queensland Department of Agriculture and Fisheries. So what is a green date? Well, it's the date after the 1st of September that you can reliably receive about 50 millimeters of rain within three days. It's an important date for things like livestock management and pasture production. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a simple online tool to calculate the green date for your region. An easy way to figure out your green date is to use Australian Climate. Climate is both a phone app and a web page, so you can access it on any device. It does require an email and password, but this information is never shared or used. When we click Start Now, it takes us to the Climate homepage. We can see a variety of options in the menu on the left. Currently, How's the Season is selected. This is a good place to start as it lets us know how the past season or seasons have been, which gives us information about likely soil moisture. We can see for Westwood, Queensland, which is located to the west of Rockhampton, rainfall for the past 12 months, indicated by the red line, has been fairly close to the median, which is indicated by the dark blue line. This is mainly due to a large event that happened in the middle of February, with the second relatively large event at the end of February. All of the light blue lines are other years of rainfall data with one year per line. So here, a low year was uh, 1901 to 1902, 1986 to 1987, and at the other end of the spectrum, we have uh, big rainfalls in 1927 to 28, due to that one really big event there, that's pretty big, and then uh, 1917 to 1918. Now, if we change the number of months included to be 24, so using this drop-down list, we select 24. We see that the rainfall for the past 24 months has been below the median, so the red line is below the dark blue line. Based on the past 12 and 24 month periods, I would expect soil moisture in this area to be average to on the drier side. This is because, besides that one big rainfall in February 2020, there has been below average rainfall, and because that one event brought a large amount of rain in a short time, it's possible that some of it may have run off. Okay, now that we have that information, let's click on how often option in the column on the left. We will use this page to calculate the green date for Westwood, Queensland. So our definition of a green date is uh, at least or more than 50 millimeters. So we're gonna drop this down to 50 millimeters over a three-day period. There we go. So now we have rainfall more than 50 millimeters over a three-day period at our given location um, after the 1st of September. So we need to change this first date to be the 1st of September. Okay, and what we're looking for is for this over here uh, in 20% of years to be in 70% of years. So we need to get that 20 to be 70. And the way that we do that is by changing the second date. So right now it's set for the 22nd of October. So in 20% of years, or one out of five years, um, Westwood will receive 50 millimeters within three days. However, we want it you know, to be in 70% of years, not 20. So let's extend this date a bit farther out. I know lots of people in the area say that they usually expect um, to have that, that type of rainfall, 50 millimeters within three days by about Christmas. So let's just look at the 22nd of December. Okay, so 56% of years, we're getting closer, um, but we need to go a bit further. Um, what about the very end of December? So December 31st. Okay, 63% of years, so just about in six out of 10 years, um, Westwood will receive 50, million, 50 millimeters of rain over a three-day period. But again, we're looking for 70, so now we need to go into January. And the 31st is too late, see now we're up to 76, so now we have to work backwards. So let's try about the middle of the month. Ah, there we are. Okay, so the green date for Westwood, Queensland is the 15th of January. And this is the day that they can expect to receive 50 millimeters within three days in seven out of 10 years or most of the years. Um, lots, for, for lots of regions, this date is sometimes later than people would expect. 
However, seven out of 10 years is a fairly conservative estimate. So sometimes it might be before this. Um, but the reason that we're selecting seven out of 10 years is because we use the green date as a decision date. So it, you know, it, it'll vary from year to year, but we wanna have a pretty good idea of when we can reliably receive that 50 millimeters in three days, which generally is required to give us um, our first flush of pasture growth, the first big, big flush. So now there are a number of things uh, that can require your green date to be adjusted. So either earlier or later. The first is soils. Both soil type and soil moisture levels uh, can impact your green date. Heavier soils require a bit more rain to get past your response. So we may need to change that 50 millimeters to be 60 millimeters. Whereas lighter or sandier soils will need less rain. So maybe 30 to 40 instead of this 50. Also, if the soil is very dry, it will need more rain to get the pasture going. Having looked at the How's the Season tab earlier, we know that we may need a bit more rainfall than usual, but probably not much. The second thing that can change our green date is ground cover. Areas with less cover and bare patches usually need more rain to get things going again, whereas areas with good cover and good root development usually need less rain. Now that we know a bit about our green date and how to calculate it, our next video will look at how different soils and pasture types respond to that 50 millimeters of rain in three consecutive days. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.